welcome to another Thunder Laser tutorial. Over the next series of videos, I'm going to show you how I do 3D carving with a laser. Now there are a lot of things to take into consideration when 3D carving with a laser. Firstly, the lens that you're using. Now I'm going to use the standard 2 inch lens. So we will need to find out the focal length or the usable focal length of the laser which I think with a 2 inch laser is approximately 8 millimeters. In other words, 8 millimeters in depth that you can actually use the laser. Otherwise it will go out of focus. So we're going to find out what exactly that is. So then that gives us a parameter to be able to cut a 3D design with our laser. Now depending on the depth of our 3D cut will also depend on how many passes, complete passes that we do with our laser and what power settings that we set those individual layers at. So as you will appreciate there's a, a lot of information that is required uh, to do a 3D engraving or carving with a laser. There are two other items that we need to take into consideration. The type of three-dimensional file. Now we'll go into that in a minute. And also the material in which we are going to 3D carve into. Some materials are a lot better than others, as we will find out. Okay, so when you hear the term grayscale picture in regards to a grayscale image to machine, it's not quite what you think it is. Now you may think or consider this to be a grayscale. Let's make it a little bigger. This particular one here. That is a high resolution grayscale photograph image. It is not a type of image that you can engrave in a laser successfully anyway or a CNC router. Uh, now these are an example on Google that are grayscale images. Now I'll just pick this one And this, of course, is the uh, the Mona Lisa. And um, I'll download it onto my computer and make it a little bit bigger so we can uh, examine it more carefully. Okay, so this is a grayscale image. Now, they are 256 different gradients between black and the, the whitest parts and if you notice it's slightly ghosty looking that is a height map suitable for a CNC machine or a laser to cut this this is what makes the difference this is a 3D height map grayscale image. Okay, so for this demonstration of 3D carving with the Thunder Laser, I have chose this Chinese dragon. Uh, the reason I've chose this is because it's very, very black in the background. And I want to see if the laser can actually engrave or etch the scales. I want to see what sort of detail is in these little flowers and in particular things like the, the eyes and the nose and the horns. 
just see what, how highly detailed the Thunder Laser can actually make this. Um, my other lasers that I've had could n never ever uh, distinguish uh, things like these scales. Um, it would never, they would never um, be able to um, actually engrave those or shall we say uh, etch them or burn them in. You couldn't see them at all. And um, I'm very interested to find out what the Thunder Laser will do. So we'll take this over to the laser and set it up with some settings that I've um, previously had a look at and I'm pretty happy with um, engraving this. So I brought this grayscale image into Lightburn now and I've resized it to 4 inches or 100 millimeters wide. Um, and like I said before, I have done some experimentation, so... Okay, so we're going to open this. Um, now what I have found with my particular thunder laser, that I need to do a number of passes at 95% power. Um, maximum, a minimum 2% because at 2% the laser does actu actually drop out. Um, so you, you know the very very white areas in this picture you don't want the laser to fire. Um, so light burn is going to separate um, the power levels between 95% and 2% into 255 different grey levels. Um, so that's okay. Now air assist, if you turn air assist off uh, you get low pressure blowing with the thunder laser. Um, grayscale because this is a gray a real 3d grayscale image um, 0 0.1 millimeter step over is absolutely fine with a two inch the standard two inch lens uh, because you can actually at 500 millimeters per second the dot size is actually near to 0 0.1 of a millimeter. If you take it all the way up to a thousand uh, millimeters per second, uh, this will half that size. So it's, so it'll be 0 0.05 of a millimeter. Now, one of my other earlier videos I did explain how that comes about uh, so I invite you to go and have a look at that video um, DPI that's fine everything else is good here so I'm going to say OK and we're going to send that to the laser OK so we're going to have a look at the file and of course when a grayscale image comes in to the controller, all you see is a black screen. And that is fairly normal. There is an awful lot of information in there and the graphics of the controller don't allow you to see that much detail. So it comes up as a black screen. So now let's set up piece of material up. In this case it's going to be MDF. I have uh, it's just a standard piece of uh, MDF. It's about, oh, about half an inch. Something like that. So 
what I'm going to I'm doing actually is setting this up with magnets to hold it in the exact position uh, because I'm going to be running this cut uh, probably five times. So I should be set there pretty well. So we'll just do a frame. I think that'll be fine. And uh, I'll set the camera up in an area where you can get a front row seat. This needs to be cleaned up, um, but you can see every little detail, every scale. Just give me a couple of minutes to clean this up. Okay, I just give this a very, very quick clean under the warm water tap. Um, and I'm, this is MDF, and uh, you can't scrub it really hard or anything, which I did. I've taken off some of the tops of the flowers there, but uh, this is only a test piece. But I'll tell you what, you can pick up every scale. Eye, the nose, the horns, everything. High detail. Even down to the striations that are actually in the grayscale uh, image uh, in the end of his tail. You're in these well, I don't know quite what they are, but uh, you can actually see the striations there. That's brilliant. I've never seen a laser actually do that fine a work. Let's do it in a, a decent piece of material. Okay, I've got a nice piece of pine on here now, and um, we'll see what the Thunder Laser makes of this.
whether the lighting in here can do this justice. There might be a bit stronger light in there, actually. But that is really good. And, you know, this quality of timber, you know, this is just plain old pine. Um, and it does a very, very good job in that. Might do a better job in, in hardwood, something like oak. Uh, I think in the next, uh, the next time we have a go at 3D carving, we'll, uh, we'll try in something exotic. But uh, for now, you know, getting the, the right settings to get a decent 3D engraving, well, this is good. You know, even in, in plain old MDF, it's, it's very good. So, that is with four high-powered passes, so it was 95 maximum and two minimum at 500 millimeters per second. And I did a cleanup pass. That just removes some of the burnt uh, debris that's stuck on the, the surface of the, the, the cut for the majority of it. Um, I run at 20, uh, sorry, 45 maximum and still two minimum and again 500 millimeters per second. So that is how to get a near perfect and highly detailed 3D carving with a laser. It is not done in one cut. So I would not advise trying to do an engraving, a 3D engraving with a laser and trying to do it in one cut because it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, you know, to get fine detail like this um, and a very, very reasonable outcome, it's going to take you four passes at high power and then a, a single finishing pass at low power. So if you've liked this video today, please press like and subscribe. And if you like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel. Patron information is below this video in the video description area. So on behalf of Thunder Laser Global, of which this is a Nova 35 100 watt, I'd like to thank you for watching the video and please pop in and see one of my other videos. So until the next time, it's bye for now. Thank you.